Hey, it's Kay Lowry. Today we are in Famous and Fun Duets, book one, and we're going to be doing the Snake Charmer. And let's check out the primo part, all right? So the first thing to note, and you might want to get your pencil out, is to check out the first note in the right hand, and that is a D. So I always like to write in the first note and circle the first finger number. So if you haven't already done that, pause the video and mark your first note. Now the next thing you want to do is look at measure four. So we're counting measures one, two, three, four. This measure right here. Let's look at the first two notes, step or skip. When I see a space to space, I know the answer. It's a skip. I like to mark the skips with an upside down V. So make sure that you have done that. Now let's scan through. Can you tell me where the next skip is? Do you see any more? A skip is the same thing as a third. So if you look around, you might see some other skips in here and it's always a good idea to mark them. So we have a skip here in measure four. We also have one right here in measure eight. Now check out these notes. This is a space on the bottom and then the note on the top is also a space. So when I see that, I know it's a skip and I'm going to play those notes at the same time. I'm going to call it a third. This is also a third. It's just what we call melodic or one note after another. When you have these notes together, they're called harmonic. Don't forget that at the very next to last measure, you're going to have another skip. Yeah. Now, one thing you might want to do is with your pencil while you have it. Let's put a small box around all of our dynamics. What are dynamics? Those are the louds and the softs and any of the Italian words that tell us what to do. These are important because they make the music fun. So the beginning, do you see some dynamics? Can you put a box around them? Now I'm going to show you where they are on my page. We have a mezzo piano at the beginning. And then down here, it's going to get really soft for a couple of measures. And then we have loud forte. And then we have retardando, which means get slower. And then we're also going to have, this is not dynamics, but it's a fermata. That means we're going to hold it a little extra longer. Oh boy, this one is going to be fun. Now I'm going to set my metronome at 120. If you need some time to work up to that speed, you might want to set your metronome slower. But when you're ready, this is going to be the speed that I'm going to play it at. All right, now let's go to the piano. And check out, whoops, we're a little crooked here. We get this straight. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, ready, play. hard, but we'll put that in when we're not using the metronome. Pause the video, rewind, and make sure you are ready to play this all the way straight through. 
And did you notice that they're going to be C sharp here? And then you'll have to move your hand to get to this A with your left hand. So practice at hand separately and then come back to this video to play at hands together.